good morning to all today we are uh, going for the design vision for rtl to get lit net list so in this uh, series uh, idea tools we are seeing uh, uh, what are the available tools that are required for the vlsi field we are seeing uh, vcs then uh, spy glass lint now today we are focusing on the design vision so i try my best to wrap up into 10 within 10 minutes but sometimes uh, theoretical plus uh, uh, software running is taking time so be patient and uh, and please subscribe my channel and support me thank you so let's move on to the our video so uh this is a general uh, flow of the any vlsi rtl design and simulation then logic synthesis formal verifications timing and power analysis and physical synthesis and layout verification and corresponding uh details are there like uh, rtl may be in verilog vsdl Simulation for simulation, we can use NCC, VCS, model seams, etc. For logic synthesis, generally design vision and encounter is there. There are other tools are there. We later see one by one. We are focusing on the uh, first uh, that design compiler or design vision for RTL two. Uh, gds sorry uh, rtl2 uh, netlist okay so moving on to the next slide generally uh, how the flow look like then we create the sdl codes then we simulate first test and either we go for the fpga implementation that is for prototype testing uh, maybe alter our dialing whatever it, uh, or uh, latex whatever the user wants then the asic designs flow uh, has the tools that cadence and synopsis tools are there for rtl area power chip layout uh, this is the flow for the asic area and this is flow for the fpg uh, path so in my setup uh, uh, there is one folder uh, with the code and uh, this is these are the listed folders are there so i make my own script to uh, make all these folders and corresponding folder has the let's say the code has uh, codes of sources like visual or verilog dc 4590 is corresponding the script for the 90 nanometer 45 nanometer dc and these are the others uh, you can pause and read these things so the details like that the design vision tools gives the rtl area power etc encounter icc chip layout other information rtl compiler gives the area same thing ncls and the vcs is for the simulation so to uh, generally we we put the everything on the dot tickle files and uh, the to run that uh, files generally use source command and the tickle dot Uh, name file and the tickle dot okay so moving on to the next in every script there are three main parts are there uh, we are reading the codes analyzing the codes elaborate the top module and the rest of the things are library path and search path and report generation okay so we to the most to the this is a general flow again it is same thing but in short rtl design functional verification means simulation then we go for the synthesis synthesis nothing but the mapping of the code into the gate netlist and the gate netlist maybe depends on the some synthesis libraries specific uh, upon the uh, vendors then gate after gate netlist we analyze the design and extract the rc uh, and other parameters okay um, It at the end we get the golden netlist. So the general synthesis process uh, look like this. 
synthesis process take the inputs article codes then constant file tickle files it will generate the reports output net list and with the uh, supported standard libraries so this is a whole detailed diagrams what are the commands uh, related to the tickle files that we going to see so in general this is another uh, good uh, representation of the design compiler design source commands standard libraries output is get lit get net list constraints files sdc files this required later on for the uh, spy class cdc if uh, multi clock domain are there okay so also it inform the area timing reports this is script look like for the 45 nanometer i generally use so you can pause and uh, have the look so as i told that these are the files also we have another file we can check that uh, where is that from the net list so i make a uh, dc 19 nanometer uh, folder into under the results where the all the files are saved as a reports this is a uh, my test code that is sequential detector 1101 mure.v top level name we have to provide this is tickle file actually uh, that required for the design vision clock information generally it is uh, like that set value and the uh, it is like the defined uh, format like okay in any set value and set name and the value like that so uh, search path then link library target libraries the main part is that uh, we have to analyze the codes elaborate top modules current design we have to set it so these are for the clocks if not present we have to create it drives and this uh, fix the whole clock these are the extra but we have to mention the wire load initially we set the maximum area constant is zero then compile ungroup map and rest of the thing is generation of the reports and the files we we are targeting for the max setup uh, setup violations details and the whole violation details using the delay min max and others are the concatenation of the files to create a, a single file okay so we already uh, took large time to have this background so we go to the our uh, terminal so <coughs> as i see, uh, as you we seen that there are lots of uh, folders and files are there generally we start with the temp folder so that uh, what are the tool specific uh, uh, log files are generated uh, it will kept into the temp folder so we go to the temp and from that we uh, start the design vision okay so it is a very simple uh, using the uh, tickle files so either you can have the source from this side or we can go into the in this window as well so my uh, tickle file present under the dc90 so source blacks dc90 and the file name is code just you have to enter it that's it it will do the all the it will uh, do check uh, design files then uh, compile and after the completion we get the we can have the schematic as well okay so in, in this way we can have the schematic 
it is for the 45 oh sorry 90 nanometer schematic for the sequential detector also we can have the uh, symbol as well okay can have a symbol like that clock reset d in d out also we can uh, have the uh, maximum path max path okay this is a critical path max path means critical path that is we are dealing with so in GUI also you can uh, have the reports okay but in tickle file it's better to have that in one go so you can close this and go to the uh, result command is quit then we can go to the result folder then this is DC90 then ls there are uh, reports uh, and the we first check the gate level uh, netlist how it look like so what are the uh, available library uh, primitives like uh, dff and the and gates nor an like that there are uh, using basic gates or pr uh, primitive gates uh, that uh, we have the implementation of the corresponding uh, module we can say the RTL module but right now it is a uh, get netlist uh, RTL module okay so we can check again the timing reports report 90 and check this one also this is for uh, uh, setup violation details uh, slag is mid means we can have that 50 uh, megahertz uh, well in within a range this is for hold violations report again slag is positive it means we, we are in within a range so we go back to the uh, what power uh, uh, power report is also there no? you can have a look so this is a power report uh, and the switching power is almost uh, 0 0.2 0 0.25 micro watt so this is the process to get uh, all the things uh, in design visions mostly as uh, also we can have the details of the cells uh, well, cells these are the cells uh, and the uh, reference in the library from that ok total 12 cells are there ok mm. we will see uh, later on in coming design uh, modules uh, where we can have the exploration of the design vision uh, in, mo in more details but right now I hope this uh, uh, short description and how we can run and make a sim uh, tickle files and how can check the reports and how can generate the report as well so thank you uh, I hope uh, this video will help you for you and please subscribe uh, it will motivate me to make other uh, more videos on this thank you bye